What's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to the podcast channel. It's your girl, Feisty Al, coming at you with another video today. So before we get into this video, you guys, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So I'm going to need you to subscribe to the channel, okay? Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so now let's get into this video real quick. So what sparked up this topic is... I follow Wolf Tyla on Snapchat, basically on all of her social medias. I don't know about anybody else from the podcast, but I follow her. I really like her. I've been following her since Vine. And I saw that she posted on Snapchat this. And um, it really got me questioning because I did not hear about the initial, I don't want to say beef, but the initial problem that was going on. And apparently, y'all, she's just now getting her credentials for writing the hook, the hook on the song. Okay, so I'm going to play a little snippet of an interview she did with No Jumper, I think about two or three years ago, explaining the actual situation. I mean, long story short, I was in a studio session and... I was playing my music and someone happened to leave the door open to the studio session and Juicy's manager came in. Hey, like, I'm Juicy's manager, big fan, love your stuff, hearing it. And they invited me to another session the next day. And then I went in there, they played me a bunch of beats. I picked out the beats that I loved. I did some writing on it, melodies on it, and then Boom. And that, the album. And um, I wasn't mad that any of that stuff happened. I just hate that how it was portrayed on social media because yeah. it just made me look like, oh, she's a liar, you know? So like, how did you find out that that song was going to have Meg on it? It just came out and you were just like, holy shit. I got shit. a text message from Juicy's manager saying, let me get your BMI information. Uh -huh. We want to make sure you're good on that record. And, you know, Megan heard it. She loves it. And... To do something so with. you knew it was going to come out for a while before it actually dropped. But when I got that text message, when I went to socials, the track list was already out a week before. So the writers that were on that record have already put it out on their socials. She put it out on her social. Juicy put it on her social. So I was the last one to find out. So the other writers had already said stuff publicly about the fact Correct. that they were involved. See, that's the interesting Correct. thing. Is that still up. Nowadays, people who write stuff, it feels like they're sort of looking at it like, oh, everybody knows that there's writers, so who gives a fuck? I'll just shout it out. I'll say something about it. So how did Meg end up getting offended then? I think she had a natural reaction. No one told her that I was a part of it. Uh -huh. um, I think Juicy's camp told her, you know, this is a reference track. You know, we had this girl, we called her up, we had her come in, mm -hmm. and she just said the lyrics of Juicy J's on this track, and we want you to take it. So she was under the impression that Juicy wrote it. Mm. Y'all, she never said she wrote the song. She never said she wrote the song, okay? She just said that she was a part of the song. She didn't specify what part of the song, which even if she specified, motherfuckers still would have been mad, okay? Mad, mad, mad. I'm not sure why Megan went so hard as to insinuate that she was clout chasing and insinuate really anything about this girl publicly. I don't know why she did that. And of course, a lot of people went along with it because at this time, Megan was deemed to be like unproblematic. She was the hot girl. And, you know, she was she was on on top at the time at the time. So they made this girl Juicy J and Megan Thee Stallion. And let me just say one thing about Juicy J. He bogus his hell for letting it ride out like that because he know what happened and he know how it went down. And the fact that Wolf Tyler was explaining this interview, explaining it in this interview in such a professional manner, even her being like she could have just like went in like Megan the Stallion did. Like she could have just went in on her, call her all types of things and everything. And she had knowledge that Megan the Stallion, the the initial information that Megan the Stallion got 
did not include her name. So Juicy J went in it basically, allegedly, he went to Megan the Stallion as if he wrote the hook, but really Wolf Tyler wrote the hook. And if she did not write the hook, then baby, why is her name under songwriters now? Why is she now getting a gold plaque for it? So you know what? I didn't really hear about the situation when it first came out. And I think it's so crazy that they really tried to make her seem like a cloud chaser. And even when she came out with the actual information and the actual facts, allegedly, she did not dog these two artists. She did not make it you know, bigger than what it needed to be. And I just think that's really, really bogus on Megan's part, especially for a young and up and coming artist, songwriter, whatever the case, and a woman at that. Like, I just think it's so crazy how they tried to dog that girl out. And now look at her. She getting her plaque. She getting her credentials. She doing what needs to be done. And she's doing it silently and professionally. But shouts out to Wolf Tyla. From what I can see from social media, she has a really good personality. And I love the way she carries herself. So shouts out to her. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do y'all think Megan was wrong the way she went about? the situation i'm not sure about how many people knew about this situation but i didn't know about it literally until i saw her post that snap and i was like what what is she talking about and then i got all the information and y'all crazy crazy business so tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below don't forget to look down in the description where there are links to our podcast you can listen to us on any audio platform just be sure to look for this logo also all of our social medias are linked down below so don't forget to visit those and yeah well holla